The tibio talar joint involves the talus moving in the ankle mortis. The major motions of this joint are dorsiflexion and plantar flexion. Dorsiflexion is more functional, more stable because the talus is wider anteriorly and fits more securely into the ankle mortis. To examine the tibio talar joint, the patient is supine. Using the kephalad hand, the operator palpates around the transverse axis of the tibio talar joint. With the cordad hand, the operator makes contact with the inferior aspect of the calcaneum, resting the sole of the patient's foot against the forearm. The tibio talar joint can thus be palpated into dorsi and plantar flexion accordingly, thus assessing for somatic dysfunction. A reduction in dorsiflexion usually indicates that the tibia is anterior on the talus. With the patient's knee bent to 90 degrees on the dysfunctional side, the operator stands at the foot of the table on the side of somatic dysfunction. The operator shakes hands with the foot to allow compression and plantar flexion. This stabilizes the foot and begins to open the tibio talar joint. With the other hand, the operator places the palm over the anterior surface of the tibia near the tibio talar joint. The operator then applies a high velocity, low amplitude thrust posteriorly through the tibia. Avoid excessive gripping around the distal end of the tibia so as not to compress the anterior tibial artery.